everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hi, Sam Healy. And we're here to Welcome tell you back. about our top 10 take that games. Don't close your door. Take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. All, All right. right. Now, listen. Also, we got some literature. But so anyway, uh, take that games. We did this list four years ago. It's time mm -hmm. to redo it again. It's a genre that we tend generally tend to say as a negative thing. Mm -hmm. I'll say, oh, I didn't like to take that element of this game. Correct. But of these games, I did like to take that element. <clears throat> Um, so I made some caveats for my list. First of all, I didn't put any two-player games on my list because there's so many two-player games that by nature are take that. I mean, two-player only. Mm. No, I'm just saying for my list. You guys can put two-player on your list. How many of these are two-player only games? Um, like, for example, Dice Throne. It's very take that -y, but it's at the other person. One right? of these games is a take that. I have two, two games. Game. I have two games it's that like are two a good, games. But that's why. Secondly, I didn't put war games in my list because, again, you're attacking people and it's expected in a war game. <clears throat> but I wouldn't even call that take that. I agree. Yeah. Conflict. Yeah, there's, there were a lot of games categorized in BGG oh. as take that that were just simply conflict. Like Rising Sun, for example, was yeah. categorized as take that. It's not a take that nah. game. Right. Right? Right. <laughs> I agree. No, I agree. And I also didn't put a game where the take that was happens every once in a while in the background. I did, I think, but example, I'll, I'll defend those. Terraforming Mars has a few take that cards. Right. But I wouldn't call Terraforming Mars a take, take that, that game. game. Sure, okay. Mm. Do I have enough caveats? Well, yeah, I think with that last one, I think there's a little bit of wiggle room there because... It depends on how many of those kinds of cards are in the deck. I mean, if I had gone with game. A, if I had gone with straight take that games, I wouldn't be able to put together a top right, ten. Right. Correct. So yeah. These are some of these have elements of take that. Really, I mean, I I was able to scrape together about fourteen games. Sorry, someone here said you look like a mid-level manager at Arby's. <laughs> I, don't, I don't disagree. That's that's so true. We already made several of these. We made a bunch of these jokes already in that. I know, I know. All right, all That's right. a good one. Okay, so anyhow, let's get to number 10. Here we go. Number 10. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. All right, I was close. I, don't think I was I'm close. Gonna work. Shut up, I know it's over the collar. All right. Uh, my number 10 uh, was actually the original version in this series of games. Um, the, uh, the first, not really edition, but the first game in the series is called The Manhattan Project. Now, The Manhattan Project had to take that element in the game where it was really the only point of contention or conflict in the entire game, and that was when you could air raid somebody. Wait, is your number, your number 10 is not Manhattan Project? No, it's Manhattan Sequel. Project 2, Minutes to Midnight. Got it. Because but I thought in, we were putting good games on the list. Wow. This is a good game. Oh, okay. Uh, so there you have it. So in Manhattan Project, it was something that you could play the entire game and not actually, it actually not happen. Correct. But in, in Manhattan, Manhattan Project 2, it was much more, they had a very similar thing, but it was uh, more of a core mechanism of the game where you could actually... Uh, fight people for uh, different control of those different, I um, can't remember what they were called, but those zones, areas. outlying areas or the third, oh, third, world, world countries. third world countries. That's what it yeah. was. These, whatever uh, they're called, third world countries. No, no, I couldn't remember what they were called. But with this one, the reason I like they it in this game. don't have an Arby's game, there, it's not a real country. What? If they don't have an Arby's there, it's not a real country. <laughs> Uh, but the reason that uh, I think that Manhattan Project 2 is a good take that mechanism is because you can actually defend against it. Um, but you can not defend against it, and if you don't, you're going to get nailed pretty hard. So that's why I included it. I liked it because it's not just straight take that. There is some defensibility to it. So that's my number 10, Manhattan Project 2. Minutes. Minutes to midnight. To midnight. All right, my number 10 is a card game that I honestly haven't played in probably a decade, but it has a lot of take that, and it is uh, an interesting, engaging game. One of the first ones to do what it does. This is Saboteur. 
Saboteur oh, okay. is a... Mio Borns, the dwarf game. Yeah, and it's this idea of um, <laughs> you are on a group of people, but you don't know who's on your team. You kind of have to figure that out uh, as you are playing. But there's tons of take that in the game. You are putting cards in front of other people that break their equipment. And they can literally not advance with their tunnel tunneling until they play the card that fixes that thing. Or somebody else plays it on them, assuming that they're on your team. So that idea, that, that very core of take that as in, here's a card in front of you, I'm going to mess you up, boom, sticks around, mm -hmm. keeps on poking you until you fix it, is what brought this to mind. Honestly, one of the very first ones I thought of was Saboteur. Now, again, all the other games on the list after this one I like more, but for no, that's the... That's good, because that's the, the very nature of the top ten list. Except yeah, sometimes. for the take that aspect, though, I would say this one is one of the more solid, very obvious take that style games. Um, so that's my number ten, Saboteur. All right, my number 10 is one that just barely made the list, although unlike Z, I had an easier time with this list. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you didn't find many games. No, no. Neither did I. Oh, yeah, I found tons. But then again, I don't know if they all necessarily fit. You and play this, worse games than we do, generally speaking, though. <laughs> and this one is barely, and this one is... Um, Rock, Paper, Wizard. That's right. <laughs> Rock, Paper, Wizard. So I don't think you guys have played this one. I have not. Okay, so Rock, Paper, Wizard Sounds good. is the same as Rock, Paper, Scissors, essentially, uh, except you are casting a spell, so you're making different signs. So you can see there you have Dimension Door, Color Spray, Wall, Force, Fireball. And depending on the spell and who you're pointing it at, different things will happen over the course of the game. I thought it sounded really terrible, but it's pretty good. It's very fun. I was very amused by this game. Me and Melody both went in. You know Melody, hard game Euro gamer. And she really liked this one. What's with the snarl lip for? <laughs> it sounds bad, yes. This is like that game that I talked about. Um, well, this, this is this kind made of the game. List. That's the funny thing. The kind of game that I talked about on our top five, get that out of my face, mm -hmm. where you had to, you had to use, um, you had to learn brand new vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Well, now you got to learn a whole bunch of new little uh, this mean? stuff like this. No, 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 no. The cards are right out there. You're just picking the one you're going to do and who you're doing it to. That's all. So I might be like, okay, I'm going to do Fireball. Let's turn that same. Mm. Fireball. Hmm. This are made they the, the same list. The whole time? This is a fun game. Uh, did they, are they always the same? Or do they change? No, they change. So different things will come out and be different ones. No. Mm. It's, ah, funny duddies. It's fun. No, that's fun. I'm glad you like it. I've never no. played it. It looks bad. It doesn't you're right. sound good to me. That's all. I'm sure all right. it's good but it looks bad yes and then without having played it rock paper wizard also as a title Ugh. surprisingly though this game has sold fairly well yeah it well i mean obviously it's going to do well with a very casual crowd and there's I, I was looking up my video for this and there's videos that like of this that have hundreds of thousands of views from video gamers and things like right, that it right, has right, taken right, off right. all that cool. circle but it's actually pretty fun rock paper wizards Sweet. my number 10 Number nine. <laughs> That's right. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Sam. Alrighty. My number nine. My number nine is a little ha has a definite take that element, but it is an action dexterity game. Quite frankly, you're flicking penguins around a high school. And, wait, wait, wait. Um, let's, let's guess. <laughs> High school. <laughs> close. It sounds like that would be a good name. High school. High school. school. Oh, I'm so close. High school. Oh. High school. Now, the take that element is actually in the form of a uh, hall monitor that is trying to go around and catch these different penguin high schoolers that are cutting class to go get a snack. Uh, and so they're trying to flick and hit you. If you hit you, you're out of the thing. Mm. And once you get around, uh, if they, the hall monitor, knock all of the other penguins out, well, then that ends the round as well. And uh, there you have it. So high school is definitely a take that for me. It's just a different kind of take that. And it's a flicking thing, but I really enjoy it. It's fun. Everybody d gets to uh, take a turn, I guess you could say, uh, being the hall monitor. Uh, so everybody uh, okay. gets a chance to, to experience the uh, blunt force front end of that uh, uh, take that mechanism, in my opinion. So that's my number nine, ice cool. 
This one didn't make my list at all because I don't consider dexterity games take that. That's all. Hmm. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just right. Wow. Sure. All right. My number nine ah. is uh, an old... Sorry, boss. My number... I feel like you Stop. came in. I'm like, I'm sorry, sir. No, I expect to see you in my office later. Kind of <laughs> Ooh, your office. We all know it's a janitorial closet repurposed. <laughs> It's right where they make the burgers. You take a couple of steps over, and uh, that's where it's at. My number nine is a Bruno Fiduti game from yesteryear. This is a game called Smiley Face. Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> Smiley Face also got reworked by, uh, I want to say Pandasaurus. Put it out again with a medieval theme. King's Life, I think it was called. I never played the reworking of it. I remember that, though. It's similar. I actually like the reworking. It's a little more robust, but I had some issues with the graphic design of it. Where a smiley face, while it's a dumb theme, graphically speaking, there were no questions. The colors pop, the numbers are obviously clear, and the writing was right there. The reworking muddled that up a little bit. But it is a fun uh, take that game, and it's one that I was surprised after having played it. Again, the game looks really dumb. It's got a silly theme. It just doesn't look like much. There was more game there than I suspected. The main mechanism being... That if you think you're not going to win a race for a specific color, right? I, I don't have enough red to win, let's say. I can say, forget it. I'm not going to win. Instead, I'll support you getting a bunch of red. I give you a token. I give you one of my red cards to add to your total, and I'm out of the fight. But if you win, I get a little something. It's a good idea. It works well. But there's tons of take that cards in it. Things like, boom, knock out your whole color. Boom, give me, I steal one of your biggest cards. Stuff like that. Um, it works in the vibe of the game. It's a good big group game. And I really enjoyed this game a lot. It was ridiculously oversized for what came in. It was a big you know, like carcassonne sized box with a little deck of cards in it. But um, I did enjoy it. I always thought it was a, a fascinating uh, concept. So my number nine, Smiley Face. All right. Uh, by the way, someone offered five bucks if you change ties. <laughs> No, All right, I, my number I'm nine is probably not one to talk about very much because it's definitely on Sam's list, I'm sure, of it. And okay. that is, I'm pretty sure it's Bang the Dice Game. I was right. I remember my number nine. Uh, this one's lower on my list because I don't like it nearly as much as others. But I still think it's pretty fun. And it's very definition to take that. And it's completely replaced Bang for me. Which is too bad because they're making reworkings of Bang now. They just made the uh, Marvel one, the Captain Marvel. They've done that for this one, too. They remade this one, Walking Dead. That's right. But that's an IP I had zero interest in. Yeah, I like the really, Western one. It doesn't really work that well with, with Walking Dead. Like, I'm actually a zombie! I can tell, sir, that you're not. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they did it, but... <laughs> no, they used the different factions. They used Hilltop and... Um, um, oh, like you don't know what faction a person's working correct, for? Correct, correct. Yeah, but again... Well, the theme doesn't make any sense if you think about it. Like if Z is there and someone takes a pot shot at him, that person goes to prison. We don't sit there and go, oh, I'm sorry. I was a deputy. I was Not just trying to throw people west. off. Not in the Wild West. Yeah, I don't think they had the law. It was not a concept yet. No, what I'm saying is a bunch of guys that run up on guys like, I'm your deputy. And they should be like, well, I'm not sure who's on my side here. Oh, of course. You <laughs> shoot them first. Yeah. <laughs> I see that happen. Ask I was a deputy later. in Bag, and the sheriff completely takes me out the first turn because they uh, just look suspicious. Uh, Sorry. Shame. I would like to say in my defense for the future inclusions of, my, of the games on my list that when we discussed this, it was games that include... Uh, take that game mechanisms, not necessarily take that games specifically. We talked about that because everybody, you said, I know, that I wouldn't have been able to make a list if we just talked about just take that games. Sure. Okay. We'll go on. So, Bang the Dice game may not be on my list. You don't think it's a take that game? You don't think it has No, I do it? think so. Wait, you're doing only games that include it? <clears throat> yes, because that's what we talked about. So what you're saying Ice Cool is only a take that game? No, I'm saying it includes that mechanism. It's mm. an action dexterity game. That includes I'm a take confused. that element. So you're saying Bang the <laughs> Dice game does not include any take that. Mm, That's what you're saying. No. <laughs> Stop it, you're being a troll now. I'm not. Oh. I'm really confused. I'm saying that Bang the Dice game is a take that game. I agree. Thus but on my I list. didn't include it on my list because when we talked about making this list, we said... Oh, we were not going to include Take That games. We were going to include games that had some Take That. Yes. Okay. I don't remember that, but all right. 
That was my number nine bang the dice game. It is a good game. I'll take it. Number eight. <laughs> it's it's getting a little better. It's, ah, you might be able to tight, tight. streamline it enough. So By the number one, we'll get it done. But probably not. Um, all right, my number eight is, uh, is a social deduction game that has a pretty strong take that element in it, and that is uh, Patriots and Redcoats. Um, this one is one that uh, I've really enjoyed uh, over the past few months, and uh, when, it, when I first got it, I was enamored with it. Now, I haven't played... Uh, other games that it is very similar to, but with this one... People say it's very similar to Secret Hitler. Yeah. Um, in this one, there are cards that you have that you can play. Sometimes when you reveal uh, who you are, something happens to that person, uh, and that's the take that element that's there. Uh, so it's really uh, most of the cards that you... Not most of them, but uh, a good number of the cards that you can play out of your hand are take that kinds of cards. And, and that's where the take that element comes into it. It really is a, a uh, um, social deduction game, but it has that element there where you are going to be you know, nailing people that is un the, with things that are unexpected um, when they take certain actions. So uh, I really do enjoy it. It has a great um, use of the theme. Not that it's incredibly thematic, but it's, it's uh, very, it feels like, um, that whole uh it's a good cop bad culpers, cop right? Isn't it? um hmm? isn't it like good cop bad cop yeah it's very similar to that it's in that same vein because you have the three cards that are in front of you right, and, and right, the majority right. of the cards that are in front of you determine uh which one uh which side you're on but if you have the uh patriot leader card in front of you it doesn't matter how many red coats are yeah so uh i really enjoyed it. it has that um uh, Washington Spies vibe to it, and that's what I really liked about it. So that's my number eight, Patriots and Redcoats. I still haven't played this one. Got to get it on my thing at some point. Yeah, it's very fun. All right, my number eight is uh, a game that I'm probably... Neil Borns. You guys, I think, like it more. Definitely Sam likes it more than I do, but it's still a solid game and one that's gotten a lot of love. Smash Up is my number eight. That's what and with, Smash Up. With Smash Up, uh, huh? That's a good choice. It is. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Promotion <laughs> coming your way. Okay, you crossed it out. Smash Up is kind of an area control game. You are sort of controlling these different locations, yeah. bases. But there are some factions more than others, but there mm -hmm. is a lot of take that. Oh, there's in. a ton in the game. Yeah, Playing so this idea of, like, you know, everybody with this value or less is pff, eliminated or... Oh, I'm going to do this and block you out for a round or for a while, whatever, right? All of these ideas of limiting and gating people and, and pushing their stuff away. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. Uh, definitely one of the games with the most sort of thematic flavor on the list because there are so many factions that you can mix and match. Um, I myself kind of grew a little bit tired of it. I didn't really like it with any number except three. It, with more than that, there was too much going on, you know, for me. Like, too many I agree. I numbers think three to keep is track really good, of. a good number for this game. Two is too few. But four is too many. It's really weird, right? It's best with three. So that's kind of where I was at. Um, still, a very solid design and lots out there if you get into it. So, cool. my number eight, Smash Up. All right, and one of the things I like about number three is the interesting box cover. Really good use of colors. Here, let me show you. Number eight. Number eight. Did I say number three? You said number three. Cutthroat Cavers. Actually, I don't like this box cover, but... <laughs> so you don't have your list. If, 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 let's get to it right now. You don't know what your games are. You picked it. You, you made the list. I thought Roy had the list. It. <laughs> the, the list got thrown away. Help, help. I'm Roy under the bus. <laughs> wow. No, I said I thought. My bad thinking. <laughs> so or it's that was Roy's a, fault. Like, I trust it. Roy. <laughs> it's right. my fault for bringing Roy into the loop. Yes. Got it. It is. <laughs> You'll take no. the blame no, because okay. you trusted Roy with it. Got I it. do remember my top ones. But anyway, Cutthroat Caverns, this one is I'll take that. It's a dungeon crawl where you're walking through, fighting the monster, and then I'm like, hey, Z, you tripped. Now I'm killing the monster. Yeah. Eh. This is why you don't like the game, I think, right? Oh, no, no, that's fine. Um, this game's okay. This game's okay. I really like I it. I didn't even think of it, honestly. It might have been in my top 15. This is one that I think Sam has cooled on. Uh, since I, since I, the incident. Yeah, uh, cool. I'm <laughs> glad you did that because somebody actually threw water on me. Um, it does like 15 years ago at this point. It was. Playing this? And I don't think yes. I've played it. And I don't think I played it since. Honestly, 
I haven't played this game since. That was 15 years ago. <laughs> and, but it's not because it's not because somebody threw water on me. It's just because I don't think it's that good of a game. No, I, I like it. I, it's it was one, fun for what it was 15 years ago. No, I think it still works, but it's, you have, it's, it's certainly one. Maybe we'll make a top 10 list. Games that are only fun with the right group of people. Games you know. that were fun 15 years ago? That's a good list. <laughs> That would be our top 10 games from 15 years ago. It would. All right. Anyway, I don't know. Cut their cards actually might be like 12 or 13. It's not, it's not, I don't know if it's 15. But yeah. anywho, it is a really fun game. And to take that element is very critical to it because yes. without yeah. it, there's no game. You're That's working together to kill a monster. Uh, it's best played if you go through the books that they have where there's very specific encounters yeah. and there's more stories and choices and stuff. But there's a lot of expansions for this one also. Tons of extra stuff that they came out with. Right. So anyway, my number eight, Cutthroat Caverns. All right. Cool. Number seven. So. That was very close. Oh, my such, goodness me. Such a near success. Uh, what's that like to be? All right. Dork? My number seven is uh, one of those two two-player games that I talked about at the beginning oh, of no. the of the cast and uh, that this is called in between uh, in between is uh, very as a game that has a very stranger things vibe going on to it <laughs> they it, didn't even like try to hide it there. no it's I like, know right we're stranger it things, doesn't dude. it doesn't have that IP is tr attached to it at all but it is definitely that idea where you have a monster that is attacking a town and the townspeople are trying to fight against that monster uh, and all of the evil that it's trying to bring but okay. It, it is only a two-player game, uh, kind of a tug-of-war type thing where you're trying to, the monster's trying to pull people down into the uh, underneath or the underdark, whatever you want to call it. The, the, and the, up side, the, 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 the sideways down. Or yeah, the whatever sideways it is. Down, yeah. Um, and the townspeople are trying to keep people from going down there. But uh, a lot of the cards that you can play in the game are... are Absolutely, just just take that. You know, instead of this happening, this is what's going to happen. Oh, you wanted to use that character when the uh, token comes around? No, they're going to be moved to a different spot, so that's not going to happen. It's that kind of stuff that's all over it, and it's a really really fun game. So uh, take that for what you will. My number seven in between. Someone said they want to play this, but they never can find it anywhere. It is hard to find, unfortunately. Sam has one. I do. I have a copy. You can. His address. I don't even know your address now. Yeah. Ah. And you shunned. All right, my number seven is, again, a game that I think both of you like more than I do, <clears throat> especially the second edition, but I still prefer the first one, Cash and Guns. Cash and Guns. You really prefer the first edition? I do. I do. A lot of it is graphical also. Sam, cross that out. I guess Sam uh, is like just deliberately invalidating your whole yeah, life. <laughs> Cash and guns. I thought he's going to write it down so then they cross out and show you. <laughs> um, in this one, you are, of course... I See, here's the thing I like about the, the first one. Feels more take that to me than the second one. The idea of, like, the being able to one-up somebody when they point a gun at you with loaded with a bang card and you're pointing right back at them with the faster bang, bang, bang card. That moment feels like, dude... You know, I was about to shoot you, yeah, and you shot, shot me first. faster. That's a double whammy, because not only do you take a wound, which is getting you closer to being eliminated from the game, another thing that I think Take That Games kind of lean into is the idea of it's okay to be eliminated from a game. But also, you wasted a bullet, because that bang that you had never went off. You got shot, and you no longer have it. You have a very limited number of cards that will hurt other people. Mm -hmm. um, on top of that, of course, you are splitting money, all of that. I, I find it to be an entertaining concept. I kind of grew weary of it a little bit. I also thought the expansion for the game, the first edition, made it too silly. I know it's kind of a the teams, dumb the thing to say. The throwing, num like the stars, ninja stars and See, stuff. See, Z doesn't want to be silly. He wants to feel like he has a gun in someone's no, head. No, I think it's... Um, I don't like when one sort of type of game sticks its foot into another like if it's a game about double guessing which i think is what cash and guns is about i then don't also want to do something dexterous 
The Dexter thing is very minor, though. But it's still there, and it's still like a break from the immersion of the whatever this game is giving me to suddenly be like, okay, now throw this foam star at a cardboard standee at the end of the table. I'm like, no, that's stupid. I'll take one flavor of stupid at a time, I guess is my point. <laughs> um, so, my number I like, seven. I like my stupid in layers. Thank you. Onion stupid. <laughs> Cash and guns. Onion stupid? Is that a new thing? Yeah, in layers. All Onions right. have layers. All right. Oh, Cash, my, wreck it up. My number seven is a game that's basically based on the. Uh, How do you know? How do you know what it is? No, this. What's this? Sur, sur, survive. Survivor. The night. No, Survivor. Um, as everyone is basically voting each other off, but it's really mean because you're like, hey, Sam, let's take out seat. Gone. That's dead last. Hmm. You did not like this one, I believe. No, um, this was too stupid a flavor of stupid. What is that? It's a little strong. There was no game. This was no game. Ha! You're bad at it. No, I think I was okay at it. I hated it. I mean, it was just there is no game there. There is literally a game there. You can't say there's no game. How's there no game? The game is basically about... Have you played this already? Yeah, it's been around. It's like the idea of like I need to get you to guess on somebody else before they they don't see uh, like that was right. that's not that the was, thing I'd be like let's vote Z out. And then I, I can was, either I can either do it or not do it. I thought it was really really dumb. Yeah. Oh, I love this game. It's You're so not, much you, fun. There's definitely a lot of people who love it though. I was taught it by people who loved it, and I was like trying to be a good sport, but I don't I don't <laughs> like it. Yeah. He didn't say he was a good sport. I was trying. To he was sport. trying to be a good no, sport. No, no. I mean, immediately after that, I got out of board gaming, got a job at uh, Mickey D's. They don't and wear I moved ties on to Mickey up. D's. Moved on up. They Why do you incorporate. On up? Anyway, my number seven, a really fun game, I think. Uh, dead last, that back and forth stuff. You're trying to vote everyone out until you're down to one or two people. Then those two people can play a little bit of that. Do we share the treasure? Or does one person take it all? And then you just keep going. And the game really evolves as it goes along because uh, if you keep taking out the same person, that person has a card they can play that. If everyone tries to shoot at them, it takes everyone, all those people out. Okay. I like that concept a lot. It's really fun. Dead last. Number six. He didn't even try. He, he tried. He tried. He did not even try. He like clearly, he, you know, he, no. they were about to change a the tire. They were like, <laughs> it was broken. He's like, all right, I'm up. It's good. Mm -mm. Quitter. All right, my number six is uh, a game that has much in the same vein as Ice Cool had a very dexterity-ish type of feel to it. Mm -hmm. uh, this one isn't a dexterity game, but. It, Your analogy uh, sometimes really throw me off. <laughs> no, it, it has it has the same feel of because you're trying to knock people over on Fireball Island. You're trying to knock them off the track. Oh. And and this has a really strong uh, take that element it to it. It is a dexterity it's, game, basically. Well, actually, it's there's not. more than dexterity because you can play cards on other people and yeah. mess them up and move them around. Yeah, right. It's yeah, not just a dexterity. Right. You are trying to... You're not... The whole game isn't flicking the fireballs. The whole game is getting your movement around and finding the right stuff and getting back. I right. say preemptively. I think this is a good choice Sam oh, has oh, made. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Somebody's trying to make sure that I... <laughs> I got your back, Sam! Showing up your defenses for yeah, later, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. No, no, no. Lame brick. <laughs> lame brick. Anyway, um, no, I, 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 again, I think this is one of those times where the take that really works, especially if you go into the game knowing that it's there and knowing what you're going to be doing in the game. You're going to have fun with it. Because it's fun, you know, to knock people over with different fireball marbles and all that other kind of stuff. And then there's the chance that, you know, dropping the uh, big, huge fireballs down Volkar's throat and having it come out of his mouth and all that other kind of stuff. That's pretty fun as well. So, uh. That really didn't. What? <laughs> Exactly like, what it feels like. He dropped like in his head, not down his throat. No, I drop. know, but it <laughs> drop it in his head and it comes out of his mouth. That's what I meant. It, you made it sound a whole lot more disgusting. <laughs> well, it is kind of disgusting. I mean, the fireballs are, are they all coming it's true. up? true. He's like, oh, acid <laughs> reflux. <laughs> Blah. Shouldn't have had that third burrito. <laughs> All right, my, my number six is Fireball Island. All right, I think this is. Uh, I think that's a good pick. That's a good kids game. 
All right, my number six is... He's trying to be a good sport. Yeah, he's, he's trying. Trying. He's I'm trying. trying so hard. All right, my number six is... Uh, Just tell you, I'm going on Yelp. <laughs> what? Like that whole uh, rape my boss thing. Oh, last does time. this burger look like this burger? <laughs> <laughs> he does look like the guy from Falling Down. Hmm. That's right. That's true. Really Michael good. Douglas? Yeah. 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 All right, my number six is Evolution. And Evolution, for the Ooh, most part, is point. not a take that game, honestly. But there's one kind of card, a very prevalent kind of card, which makes it very much a take like that the game. Card called Carnivore. The one right there called Carnivore. Uh, when you are, when you go for that strategy, and it is a robust strategy, you will be picking on other people to eat their animals. Not nah, with me. I'm, I always go for large. You go for large, or you can, you know, there's a few cards that sort of prevent the take that aspect. Right, you can right. shore up your defenses, but um, a big part of the game certainly feels like a, uh, a take that game. And in fact, you could try to avoid it. Have nobody go for car carnivore. If you do that, food supply dwindles, someone goes for carnivore. Yeah. It's just the way it works. Uh, That's so true. If no one goes for carnivore, you're forced into then it. Then there's no food because it all gets eaten up by the, the herbivores, and so somebody will become a carnivore, and then, then you got a target rich environment if that was the case. <laughs> um, it's an interesting take that game because it's so thematic. This is the one that really has a reason, a really good reason sure. for being a take that you're game. You're eating the other people. And it, uh, it just makes sense. It's a, it's a good get card game with then that, you know, very. Uh, carnivorous aspect to it mm -hmm. my number six evolution or any of the other ones evolution climate evolution whatever have you played the app for this yet i heard it's really good i got a demo of it at a convention i forget which one about a year ago yeah it looks good all right yeah. cool cool all right my number six is a very popular game in the mass <laughs> market genre uno oh yeah, you got it. No, um, dose. One of the <laughs> dose. You know, next year they're coming out with Trace. Trace. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Like, um, no. Mm -hmm. But anywho, one of the things about take that games is usually, do you get all the cards that can attack people, and I don't get the cards that defend me. You know what I mean? Right. The the shuffling of the cards. I'm like, draw four, draw four, whatever. And Sam's like, well, I didn't get the alter senses to cancel your draw fours. Right. I might be mixing game systems there. You I definitely don't know. It works did. well. A cancel spell. <laughs> but in this game, each person has their own deck of cards that come after them and cards that they have themselves. This is villainous. Now, I don't think either of you have uh, played this one yet. I play, no, I did not technically play. I set it up and sort of messed with it. Yeah, so villainous, you have, you're one of the Disney villains. There's six in a box and there's three more that they just came out with, so there's nine total. Right. And you are trying to accomplish some sort of goal. Uh, like, for example, Hades needs to get three Titans to Mount Olympus. That's what his goal is. The evil queen, her goal is to get, kill Snow White. You know, they're pretty straight up things, right? That's mean. I know it. It's but right. your opponent is trying to stop no you by to playing no take that cards against now. you. But they do so by drawing from a, a deck of heroes, essentially, and playing. So if you're playing against Snow White, if, if you're playing against Evil Queen, you're playing the dwarves against her. They come out of that deck. Okay. If you're playing against... Uh, Hades, you're playing Hercules and all his buddies. And other people play him. those from your deck, but on you, right? Yes. Right. And I like that. It's a good way to mitigate how that works. It's mm -hmm. like this card was specifically made to hurt me, mm -hmm. and but I also can counter it possibly in some specific way. Mm -hmm. It's a really good way to do the whole system. I really like this one. Villainous, my number six. I haven't played this one. I, when it first came out, the Gen You're Con... You're not a huge it, Disney guy, though, are you? Oh, no, I'm not. But the, when the Gen Con that it came out, I saw people playing it, and I was talking to them, and they were, and they were like, do not play I think game. it's not necessarily for heavy gamers, but it's a pretty good game. You can say geeks. It's okay. Look at, look at you cheating. Taking, All right, let's go number five. Here, okay? It's cheating, man. Number five. He ain't gonna make it. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in a top ten. And I look like this. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. All right. My number five. While he continue uh, continues. Uh, now I'm just hey, what fixing if I his tie. <laughs> All right. Let's do that for the next one, okay? I'll help you. Sam, what's your number five? Yeah. Okay. My number five is uh, a miniatures game. 
Woohoo! Uh, Blood Rage. And it can with be played guys. with up to four different factions, I believe. Blood Rage. GKR, heavy hitters. Uh, giant killer robots, heavy hitters. Now, uh, this is a conflict game, and, but there's a lot of card play in it. Some of those cards help you. Some of those cards hurt other people, and that's where the take out element comes into it because the cards that can be a number of different things, but some of them can be stuff like, oh, you thought you were going to shoot me with that missile. Yes. No, it was a dud. Oh. Sorry. Uh, you're not going to uh, fight it. And that doesn't like sour you at all in the game? I... No, no, because that's it's just the, the way, the, the nature of this game is very... Attacking the people is not the only way that you can win. Well, how um, else can you win? You can also win by tagging the buildings and uh, getting a certain, I can't remember if it's uh, three tags on a building or if it's four, I can't remember. But uh, you can tag a building and, th and that building is yours. So you get a majority of the buildings that are out there, I think. So it's like an aspect of area control in the middle of this fight? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it actually is. I want this so. game. I don't have a copy. I want to get it for Dice Hard Library. It's like a monstrous, monstrous gorgeous yeah, it, 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 it looks so cool. It, it is a big box. Cool. But it uh, definitely has a strong take that element in, in the card play of the, of the game. So that's my number five. GKR heavy hitters. I'm waiting for the movie, man. This is I, from you know Zeta what? Workshops or whatever. Or Weta Works or whatever. Weta Workshop, yeah. yeah. There's not really a good mech movie, is there? Dude, excuse you? Pacific Rim? Much? Thank you! No. Oh, it's like mech versus mech, battle tech. Oh, and mech versus oh, come mech. On, man. No, no, the got Pacific time Rim for that. took it in this weird direction where there was two people. I want to see a guy <laughs> get in a cockpit and there's like 30 of them fighting each other. Well, Pacific Rim 2 had that Pacific a little Rim bit. Pacific Rim 2 was Power Rangers upgraded. Not really. Pacific they, Rim 1, they, though, they is were, the movie you they want. Were technically, they were technically the mechs. They were just... Anyway. Uh, anyway, I want a Battletech movie. Let me be specific. Okay, right, that, fine. that was better. <clears throat> what number are we on? Number five. five. All right. Uh, my number five is... Also a Fiduti game, but he's working together with Katala. A lot of these games are very old, as you can tell. Boomtown is Boom my pick. Boomtown. Boomtown. This, is, this was, uh, I think, on my list last time, actually. Really? Yeah, I like Boomtown. Um, Did they remake this? They did not here in the U.S. Somewhere else they got a different theme. You can get an app for this of a pirate themed. I know you can. Well, there you go. They made a physical it. copy of that, just not here. Really? Yeah. Um... And so I guess the app is based on that physical production. Probably. So anyway, the idea here is in this one, it's got an Old West theme. And you are going to be bidding on different mines that you are collecting in front of you. The game really, at its core, is very much a bidding game. There's going to be tons of bidding rounds. It's got a cool closed system of economy in which if I win a bid, I will take whatever my winning bid is and pass it to the player on my right. They keep half, pass, keep half, pass cards on the table go the other way i take the first one and you would get the second one and so on around the table and you are just collecting those mines trying to have them generate money based on basically a Catan dice roll right right but a lot of those cards who boy and, and the thing is the, the, there's a, a small you know technically speaking a small number of take that cards but they are some of the nastiest cards in any take that game like Blow up an entire mine. That's done. Steal someone's whole chunk of money. I mean, they are just mean old cards. And so when that comes up, you still got to bid on it. And so sometimes the bids go all crazy because someone simply wants to buy a card. Maybe they don't even want to use it on you. They just want to keep you from using it on them. So you can buy a card for that reason, you know. Uh, it's clever. It's interesting. It's definitely a little swingy because of that aspect. But you know what? I really like it as a pure... Um, auction bidding game because of the flavor really comes through. I like the Western, you know, prospecting vibe. And then the thematic mm -hmm. aspect of the cards that take that works for me. Mm -hmm. I like that. You know, you can have a mine cave in on you, stuff like that. I like that a lot. So, yeah, Boomtown's a solid game. I still got my copy. Um, and that's my number five. Cool, cool. Very nice. My number five, I believe, is the first crossover. Nope. Stop covering it up over there. I'm trying to look at it. It's not a crossover. <laughs> you straight me. Uh -huh. All right. This what is, is it, Tom? I've noticed there's a lot of Western-themed games on this list. This is another one. Makes sense, right? This one's on a train. 
Uh, this is uh, Colt Express. Colt Express, yeah. That's all. I mean, the whole game is take that. Sure. Run around the game, programming, shoot at other take people. That, yeah. But yeah, but I mean, you are punching people, making them drop their loot, grabbing their loot, going right. farther. Right. Uh, taking it, going stabbing on the Stabbing people. There's no stabbing in this game, actually. There is when I play. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I meant characters. <laughs> no, I said people. I like players. Players? Yeah, I really like this one. Actually, I considered briefly putting uh, Western Legends on my list. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, Western Legends, but I, I felt like the take that was an extremely minor part. I mean, I, I don't know. It just This game is very much about that. This this makes more sense, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Western Legends was a really tough call for me. I well, really Western Legends, about it. if you are like the law, you are putting like catching the the outlaws and all that. That makes sense. Let's not take that. But you could also play Western Legends and pretty much ignore everybody if you, you want could. to. You could. And that's why it, I think I didn't put Western, but I considered it. That was like my number. I don't know what to, if it just <laughs> makes the list or not. Nineteen. But anyway, uh, Colt Express and I. That's <laughs> um, Colt Express, a really fun game. My number five. Number four. I would like to say that was cheating. That's not, that's not. That was not no. right. You got a challenge. And he still didn't do it right. Oh, I couldn't he stop still laughing. still didn't Come do it right. <laughs> Man, we gave you like 10 extra seconds. Could people hear us over that at least? Probably. No? No. Oh, man, I sang the most beautiful tune. No, you didn't. That's how legends are born. That's true. My number four uh, is a trick-taking game, actually, but it's oh, probably okay. one of the most unique trick-taking games, and uh, it's my favorite trick-taking yeah. game. Uh, it's called Tournament at Camelot. Now, the trick-taking uh, is the core mechanism. The take that element of the game comes into where the special powers that you have of the protagonist, and I believe they are called the protagonist and the antagonist, I think is what they're called. Okay. You get two of these special powers at the beginning of the game. Yeah, these things right down. No, not not those. Oh, where are they? You made the slide! I did. I, I thought <laughs> I downloaded two different slides. I put the wrong one in there. That's such a fake laugh. <laughs> yeah, it was. But anyway, uh, a lot of things can happen. For example, uh, you know, in trick taking, you can play trump cards, and and that's not really take that. But with these different powers that you have, you can play certain. Uh, kinds of cards within a trick which will have a certain effect on whoever might be leading that trick at that certain time. Um, and so that's the take that element that's, that's in this trick taking game for me. And I, I really enjoy the game and I enjoy that aspect of the, tr of the take that as well because it's more of a special power that only you have when you play certain cards. Um, and not all of the antagonists and protagonists have that, it just depends on which one you're playing. So that's my number four, tournament. At Camelot. Depending on which protagonist, on which like character you pick, do you Not, have some set ones, or do you just earn them throughout the game? No, you you can choose them. You okay. you choose them at the beginning of the Here's game. Here's my problem with the game is that I haven't played this one yet. I love <laughs> trick taking, but I was turned off on it because you loved it. So I was, but 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 no, I'm just kidding. But the artwork has like turned me off to it. I just don't like that it's artwork. Period. It's, it's 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 time period uh, yeah, What is that period. called? Uh, um, but uh, now you say just take that things. in it. You're not selling me on it. I don't know that I want to take a, a trick taking in the B take that. It also has really high scores. Ooh, I do like that. Oh, you do? Oh, then they're really low numbers. No, it doesn't have high scores. You start there. high and you go down. There, that. Because your, your, your score is your life. You're losing points, but you start like at 200, 100? 200, uh, 250, I think. Got it. All right, <laughs> I did my job. <laughs> my number four is a game that, as far as I know, I have played and the designer, I think, played a couple of times. And that's it. Nobody else has played the game. This is a game, a game called Beastie Bar. I played uh, this game with the uh, designer. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of those two times. Uh, Beastie Bar is very much a take that game in which you have a deck of cards, your own deck of cards, in your color with a few animals. Each one has a specific power. And so you do draw from your own deck. You'll get the same ones I'll get. And as you play them onto the table, they'll do different things, like eat... This one animal eats all the ones in front of it that are a lowered number. This one animal switches place with another one. 
and so on, things like that. Eventually, when enough of them are on the table, some of them get into this beastie bar, and some get kicked to the curb if they're at the back of the line. That's it. And it's all about manipulating when you play what, how you manipulate that line, trying to get the most of your color in. I like it a lot. It's uh, got a weird sort of look, which I, I enjoy, the anthropomorphic sort of animal. He likes to watch animals smoke. Yeah, <laughs> there's a very, zebra smoke very, in there. There's fringe. a gorilla with smoking. <laughs> there's it's, a giraffe doing lipstick. It's weird, and they it's all over the cards. You know, this weird artwork that had a sequel for this with more animals. Tell me why does doing this weird alligator stuff. have a fork there? <laughs> What's he planning on doing? Because he eats other animals. <laughs> yeah, that dude's, a da that dude's dangerous. Um, I really like this game, though. It's a fun filler card game. Um, Beastie Bar, my number four. Actually, the number Beastie Bar, I think, is a good replacement for guillotine. Absolutely, yeah, right. So it's some a people similar are, vibe. take that, they're like, yep. oh, guillotine, that's a good one. Beastie Bar is a more gamery version of guillotine. Right, I would say so. Or Beastie so, Bar yeah. 2. Same thing, you can or mix Beastie them, Bar actually. Beastie Bar 3, that's not made, I just made That'd that up. That'd be cool. I'm surprised that 2 even came out. Yeah. All right, my number four is not Beastie Bar. Now we're at crossover time. I agree with Samuel on Fireball Island, so. Yes, we you know, you, you, you told us. I tipped my much. hand a little, was that too obvious? Yeah, I'll, I'll try to be like more subtle next time. You flapped nose. your ties, as the saying goes. <laughs> flapped my tie. Yeah, Fireball Island is all the, I mean, there's the flicking the fireballs at each other for sure, but it's also moving the trees so the other person's gonna get hit. It's yep. playing the cards to set them up or to hurt them. It's just constantly, the game is uh, running past somebody stealing the gem from them. Mm -hmm. It's all about yes. going after the other person. And sure, it's a kid's game, Z says, as most games are, if you're gonna go with that stupid thing. That's true. Sorry that Fireball Island doesn't have smoking crocodiles, but, well, it does have smoking crocodiles because the Fireball went over them and, and now, now they're smoking. They're, and they can be eaten. That was a bad, okay, I can't. it was barbecued. Did we make that clear what I meant? I got it, I got it. No, I mean, like, it got crushed by a, a nice chunk of hot magma. I feel like I'm about a little over-explaining today. No, I today. understood it. I got, if you um, want to tell me again, but I got it. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, Fireball Island, a ton of fun. I really enjoyed it. It's a new version. I look forward to seeing the spiders in it. The next, That's a new expansion, The new right? expansion with spiders yeah. and stuff, uh, adding more nonsense to the game where there'll be spiders, and when you run over a spider, you get new points. So you try to knock spiders in other people's paths. That's crazy. So that is my number four, Fireball Island. Number three. So awkward, Tom. This is the most. Uh, uh, what are people saying? I'm curious. Uh, What's they're, happening? Like, they're all saying we really appreciate this. Is I believe what the. <coughs> I'm sure that's. Is what anybody it is. creeped out by this? It's a tie. Like well, between people who are creeped out and people who are saying I like it. You mean? <laughs> that took me a second. Why would you be yeah, creeped yeah, out by yeah. someone taking it? It's only yeah, when you take the tie off real slow. You know, it's. Are you practicing for something we don't know about? <laughs> Like, is there a competition? A tie competition of 2019. It's good trial by fire. I like it anyway. We all joke, but there's a good chance stuff like well, that you exists. You know that's happening. All right, my number three is the other two-player game that uh, I said that was on uh, on my list. And uh, you take your pick. It's between two of them. Uh, They're basically Star the same. Star Realms or Hero Realms. Star Realms or Hero Realms, yeah. It's definitely. I consider this. Because in the four-player game, it's take that. And then I was like, no, ah, yeah. but it's mostly play two-player. This one, honestly, yeah, yeah, is the absolutely. only one I would say so far does not feel like a take that because the objective of the game is also the take that aspect of the game. If no. that makes sense. No, like, I'm, so. my, the way I win is by running out your life. Right. So running out your life. But there's a lot of take that things that go before you can actually hit that. Like, you can play cards that will say just destroy that person's base um, or destroy that person's largest. Because the base gets in the way of me hitting your life. Yeah, that's right. It's exactly. a means to an end, though. Which well, you'll, 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 what, you can have a counter argument for one what, of mine coming up will yeah, kind of yeah, be I mean, a, a... I mean, take that is a means to an end, isn't it? No, no. What I mean is, like, the goal of the game is what you are doing in a two-player game. If that's... Well, it'll that's be a why he didn't include two-player games at all. Well, we'll right. come back what to it. Saying. I have a two-player game, and you tell me what you think right. uh, when that comes up. Okay. I'm against the both! But 
uh, Star Hero Realms has not only hitting your, yeah, you are hitting your deck, trying to knock your, not the deck, but the uh, the number of authority that is uh, that your opponent has, and you're trying to whittle that down to zero first. That's what you're trying to do. But in order to get there, you have to play a lot of different kinds of cards that are going to be uh, take that ish. Take in that-ish, nature, take that-ish. because uh, you're you're knocking out their base, you're knocking out that card that they have, uh, you're knocking out that champion that's been annoying you the last few uh, turns because they're really powerful. Whatever it might be, you're doing a lot of that stuff in order to get back to the to to, to the uh, goal of whittling down the authority. So that's my number three star or hero realms. Take your pick on on uh, theme. Quick sidebar: Someone in comments mentioned that take that is a band in England. And I remember that because if you remember two years ago, we were at the convention and they had a Take That concert. There was a big Take That concert next to the UK Games I don't, rem- Expo. I don't remember the name of the take band. Take That concert? I knew they had a... No, the band is called Take That. Yes. And there was this concert... What's the name of the band? Next to the UK Games Expo. I and I concert, kept getting yeah. confused and I was like, why are people going over... It just said Take That. And I was like, there can't be that many people interested in that genre of games. Oh. No, I didn't know the band existed, and it was just, it was a funny thing to me, and then after that, I couldn't get that out of my head. I right. saw people, like, going in crowds, they're going to see Take That, and I was like, man, people today, there are better genres of games out there. That's hilarious. <laughs> so. That's a coincidence right there. I do remember the, the concert, though, yeah. There were a lot of people there mingling with gamers who right. were going to the concert. Yep. All righty, my number three, yes? Yes. Yes. Again, an oldie, but a game I really enjoy, and my favorite Sig Saxon game, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I knew this was on your list. I I'm thought it was number boss. one, though. No, nope. no, I got a couple more that are above this. What else is above this? What about I'm the Boss, the card game? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Boss is very much a take that game. It's a business-themed game in which you are trying to close deals, but... As you try to wrangle everybody, it's a good negotiation game, kind of talking game, talking people into helping you. You can play cards to steal stuff right out from people. I mean, you're just like, oh, that card's mine now. Mm-hmm. now There's also I, the I'm the boss card. You play a, I'm the boss card, and now, now it's your turn. I've never seen this in any other game since, you know, or before. When it, While you are wheeling and dealing, I can play a card, and it becomes my turn. And I continue from where you where you were going. <laughs> yeah. You might have been halfway through, like, like, hang on one moment. Okay, guys. Anyway, <laughs> like, no, <laughs> it's pretty wild. You got ways to counter it, all that stuff, and you know, it's a, there's a lot of sort of a manipulation. But I really enjoy this concept. It's a game that, to me, feels unique. It, no other game in my collection has a similar vibe. It's it's wholly unique. So um, yeah, I'm the boss. I knew it was gonna make my list. But this yeah, was my number easily three. on my short list. Yeah, I really thought so. This one just hasn't aged well for me as really? much. <laughs> because of the take that, actually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It just when you're playing it, it feels sometimes like I, I want the negotiation, but the rug can be swept out from underneath you. Like you and me, we're like, okay, finally we have the deal. And Sam's like, <laughs> I'm the boss. Like, hang on now. We just spent three minutes making a stupid deal. I guess I like that because that's the style of game it is. Because you play it against peasants. When you play against good people, it's not fun. Uh, maybe that's hmm. it. Oh, hmm. who should I play against? <laughs> anyway, my number three <laughs> is not I'm the boss. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, now you're not even changing a slide. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I don't remember my number three. I want you to is. jump back to I'm the oh, boss, yes. though, halfway Tokyo. through this. Be like, my number three. <laughs> so number three is uh, King of Tokyo. This is one of the first ones I thought of. It's The whole game is take that. You're rolling dice attacking each other, but it's not just the dice that are attacking each other. There's the cards involved where sure. you're going after each other. Okay. Um, okay. Play bad cards at other people. Play good cards in yourself. And Richard Garfield somehow made it palatable. I don't know what makes this game better than others. Uh, part of it is because you can ignore that, I think. A lot These of people like the King of Tokyo, they can be like, ah, I'm going for groups of I mean, there are some cards that are just straight up points. That's what makes it work. You know, there's two sort of paths to victory. But this is Yahtzee, basically, with a lot of theme and a bunch of special cards. Mm-hmm. This is like Magic the Gathering Yahtzee. Yeah. And it really works. <laughs> this is a, just a fun sort of... The game feels like it doesn't take things seriously, right? That works for it. 
I like that a lot about it. I didn't King of put, New York didn't is put also, it on my list, but King it's of New York is pick. also a possibility here, but Okay, yeah, but that honestly, one feels a little more serious. It does. Like it takes honestly, itself I haven't played King of New York so. in a couple years. Uh, I've definitely played King of Tokyo probably ten times before I played King of New York last. Yeah. I keep all the stuff for King of New York. It just in my side box. Remember that? I I've repurposed the side box to hold all the King of Tokyo yeah, stuff. Yeah, we put it in the library, so, and it says it's a side box. It says written on a King of Tokyo. I don't think anyone's played it yet. Yeah, well. <laughs> like, come on, it's a King of Tokyo. All right, anyway, that is my number three, King of Tokyo. Number two. It's not going to work. <laughs> What's your number two, Sam? All right, my number two. Let me straight my tie briefly. I'm probably going to catch Fike on this one just like Ooh. I have on the rest of my list. Um, Here we go. But uh, my number two definitely has a take that element strong within it and that is uh cosmic encounter cosmic encounter is I, I considered it i just don't for me i didn't consider it a take that but i can certainly see it yeah i mean there's just so many different powers in there that can be brought up at any moment in time and those powers are definitely take that ish uh you can try to use your power somebody can play a cosmic zap on you and that feels take that ish uh right. There's just a number of different ways that Take That is kind of inserting itself into this game. That uh, That's why I was including it. Now, of course, my ideology behind my list was a little bit different from these guys because, because of a us. misunderstanding. But um, that's my number two, Cosmic No, again, encounter. I think two is fine. You're not getting any garbage on this from me. Yeah. I just... I didn't put it on because I didn't think to take that was the main mechanism, and that's what I did for mine. Yeah, it's, but I think well, it's this not is the fine. Main I, I definitely considered it. Right, it's not the main mechanism. Also, it's an amazing game. I did just play it at um, Dice Tower West. Really? Yeah. Did I you? Did, I did just play it at Dice Tower West. Oh, so I played my favorite game and your favorite game. I was well, offered one of his favorite games. I was oh, offered to play sorry. it a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and every time I was offered, I was like, oh, I'm in the middle of doing something else. And then I saw a guy with it set up, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go over and play with him. And then I started talking to someone, turned, and he had packed it up and put it away. Oh, dun, okay. dun, dun. All right. I hope it wasn't you watching. <laughs> All right, that's my number two, Cosmic Encounter. All right, my number two is a uh, probably, let me think here. Yeah, this is the biggest, prettiest game in the list. And it has uh, Richard Lanius as one of the co-designers. So there's going to be some take of that. It's Fate of the Elder Gods. Really? Yeah. You really I like, like this. this game. I do like it a lot. Uh, honestly, it's this high on the list, not because of the amount of take that, but because I, I do like the game, and it's a gorgeous-looking game. That doesn't hurt these days. Honestly, if it's pretty, uh, it gets a lot of uh, brownie points with me. But uh, in it, you are... It's a Cthulhu game in which you are playing the bad side of that equation. You are supposed to be the cultists trying to bring about some elder god, whatever. And a big part of the way you win, there's sort of two paths to victory. One is help yourself, run a specific track you have in front of you all the way to the top. The other one is knock out everybody else. So big chunk of this is take that. You cast spells that mess with people. There's an element in the game that is very much like the crossroads in Dead of Winter, in which when someone crosses so a threshold... Is number one. Uh, no, definitely not. You cross a certain threshold, and the player to your right or left or whatever draws a card, and they have something to watch for, kind of. I really like it, and it looks good. I like the theme. It's engaging. The take that in it feels appropriate because of the warring nature of the factions, you know, of the, the different cults. I enjoy it a lot. So, yeah, my number two, Fate of the Elder Gods. All right, my number two is a crossover with Z this time. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And Hold up. This was my number one last time. Cash and Guns? Smash Up? I don't Smash know. Smash Up. Yeah. Smash Up. It's very much a take that game, really. I mean, it's all about playing good cards in yourself and bad cards. Sure, there's area control, fighting over stuff, but man, I just... I don't know why this game doesn't bother me. Like, I mean, again, this is not a genre that I particularly enjoy necessarily when I'm trying to do something, someone blows it up. But it feels like in this game, you always have some sort of counter. And no card is going to destroy your strategy. You just get out another card and play it. And it always feels like you have this really cool special ability right. you can do. Right, right. And even if they beat you in one spot, you're probably going to win in another one. And each faction they come out, there's so many factions there's now. There's way too many now. There's never too many. 
And they, they got to be up to. I mean, how many combinations at this point can you make? That's ridiculous. It's a huge they amount. They come out yeah. with what eight different factions in each box? No, it's four. It's, it's, it's expansion. Four. Oh, it's four, four in okay, each I'm expansion. Sorry. But there's so four in each I expansion. I think thirteen but expansions. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then there was the Munchkin set. There's a lot of combinations. It's like almost cosmic encounter proportions at this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's okay. Again, and also you know at this point they're not playtesting everything. <laughs> well, every combination you mean they could. Did be you play possibly. luchadeers and Russians riding bears? What's a uh, luchadeer? Hang on. Lucha Deer, Lucha Deer, actually. Oh, Lucha Deer? It's a Luchador Deer faction. Oh, so, so they're deers that wear, wear masks, masks and, and capes. <laughs> Come on, think about it. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. That's, that's pretty a, good. Be careful, because you no know, greater than games is watching. They might make a... They'll be like, oh, <laughs> sold. Lucha Deer. Got it. Penciling that in. All right, anyhow, uh, smash up a ton of fun. <clears throat> My number two. Here we go. Very number good. ones. And finally, number one. Yeah. Nope. Didn't make it. Oh, uh, you still couldn't do it. Still got it sticking out of your collar there. It's Shut up. I like that one, though, the Dilbert tie. Yeah, I'm going classic today, Dilbert. That's cute. That's cute. What's your number one, Sam? I, think I gave you a slow clap for trying. That's good. All right, so my number one is actually pretty interesting because you, like you guys have already talked about it while you were talking about one of your other things. I'm going to guess it. Go ahead. Western Legends. Yes, that is correct. Because he made a weird face when I was talking about Western Legends. Oh, you I are, can you always are, tell when he's you like, are a poker he was kind of like, Pat. Oh, you oh, are man. good. That's things. correct. Well, you know what? I told you I really thought about putting on the list. No, I get it. I get it. I, I probably would not have thought about it for this list except for I played it at, at Dice Tower West. And oh my goodness, it felt like a take that game. Because <laughs> this guy like, this guy was like, uh, oh, I just got my first cow and I'm going to, on my way to the bank, oh, I don't have enough movement points. Some guy goes, whoop, nope, my cow. And then he walks away. <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, that was rough. And then, you know, okay, oh, I got all this money and uh, nope, my money. <laughs> and wow. it's just over and over and over. Sure, but if that happens and you're like, Ch -ch -ch. I decided to open, enforce the law. <laughs> that's true. I mean, that's what you do. But that take that element is definitely there. Some of the cards that you play do have a take that feel to them. Right. But that's not where the take that feeling comes from for me. It's it's when you can come in and just rob somebody blind, and eh, don't really like that. It really kind of depends on who you're playing the game with, and how they they. Are going to play the game if like if you have somebody that's going down the uh, the wanted track it's going to feel like a take that game sure but again i feel like it's very much they're easily stopped because if you're wanted you're like all right i am the law and right, you can go you after can, the you person can make a lot of you yeah. can't get, and you can't get so powerful in the game you can also send the sheriff you can also send the sheriff after people that had a very I strong love it. that has a very strong take that element to it as well so sure i without this last play at dice tower west i probably wouldn't have thought about it but it rocketed to the top of this list that's a good game to play in me. dice tower west yeah it is so <laughs> western, uh, legends. western legends it's a great game very fun but it can have a very uh it can be permeated uh with uh take that all right my number one is the two-player game, um, and it's Babel. Okay, so that's my number you know one what? game. I apologize. That would break my criteria for two-player game. That's a good choice. Wow, that's true. Okay, so here's what I meant, Sam. Uh, <laughs> in Babel, my objective is to build the Tower of Babel, technically, but just sort of basically build a certain number of towers. Yeah. They come up from a deck, mm -hmm. I can build them from there. Mm -hmm. I can build them from there, I can build them from the ones you flipped over. I can also, though, destroy yours. That's not how I win. I win by getting to a certain number of them. Got it. But I can kill your towers. Mm -hmm. That's what I was talking about, like, in Star Realms. My objective is to kill you, and so the take that is I attack and kill you. Those are actually the same thing. You see what I'm nah, saying? Yeah, but but I can. Uh, my counter argument then is is what you are essentially doing by uh, killing somebody else's uh, tower, whatever it is, or hitting it and attacking it down, is really the same thing as attacking somebody's base. 
because no, my objective is not to destroy their towers. I understand that. My objective isn't to destroy their base either. It's to whittle their authority down. But oh, in order base to, is like a card. Okay, I'm yeah, sorry. Got it. The base there the base is making gets it, in the way, right? Yeah, it gets in the way. So um, I think it's almost two sides of the same coin. What well, my point is, Babel could be a game in which I do the exact same thing, and there's no take that. Sure. I wish people played it that way against me. No. Nope. The very first game of this I ever played. I watched it. I, I that's one of the maddest I've ever gotten in a game. I mean, the game is supremely in your face. Because what this happened is that was that game that a lot of people. This is back in the day, kind of. But you know that idea of like, oh, I'm playing with my significant other. What game should I bring to the table in Not order to get one. them to? <laughs> Not babble. Not then babble. the question is always like, okay, well, how's the confrontation? You know, do they like that? Yes, no. If no, not babble. Was actually said before. <laughs> actual suggestions. You know. Because Babel is so confrontational. There is so much just pummeling people to the ground. Yes. And then my tower building will happen. But I'm going to just... And all the cards do some sort of nastiness, you know. Um, there's even a power that any, actually, any of them, if you build them up, you can destroy the other person's... You can destroy half of their hand of cards. Right, that's what happened. I played Joe, and I was like, he was like, bam, bam. I was like, all right, fine. I'm just gonna build up a hand of cards. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. He's like, bam, lose half your cards. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, bam, lose half of that half. I was like, I'm coming across the table. I was so annoyed. <laughs> so yeah, you it know was what? Very fun to watch. It was very, very fun to watch. I Babel came late to me. I I went through a list. I sort of found all the other ones, and then I thought of Babel, and I was like, oh. How come I haven't thought of that? Number one. <laughs> quick, quick point of order here. Someone's saying he's pronouncing it wrong. Babel definitely can be produced, is short for Babylon, and can be produced that way. You don't have what to say, say Babel. Pronounce, Some pronounce people say Babel, but whatever. Babel, also where the word Babel came from. B A B B L E. Yes. It did. It's, anyway, sorry. My number one, another crossover. And again with Z. I don't know, man. What could it be? Oh, cash and guns, man. Oh, okay. So I was right. The first Almost time I Almost a crossover okay. with Z, actually, because Z picked the sure. vastly inferior I first edition. Agree. I agree. Like the second the first edition one. is so much smoother. Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, I really love this game. I w you know what, though? Until this one existed, it wasn't like I was unhappy with the first oh, version. Of course. Right. That's how that works, yeah. And I do agree the bang, bang, bang was pretty cool. They, pu they pulled that, right? Yeah, they, but it did streamline the game, make it a lot easier. The way you pick sure. awards now is better. You like that It used better, to yeah. be split it evenly if possible, and if not, leave it in the middle, and now just take a card. Mm -hmm. Sure. It goes right. around yeah, the yeah. table until it's I like right. the original one better. You, want, you are in, in incentivized to kill more people. You are still incentivized to kill more people because you keep going around until all the cards are gone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, right. I, I'm just all for killing. I'm with you. This is so much fun. I really like this game. My number one, Z already said most of it, Cash and Guns. Good stuff. Yo -yo. All right, ask us what we should have put in there. Tell Yo -yo. us, say, why did you not put this one? Here's your chance, you 780 people watching. Ooh. Um, Sweet. Uh, let's see what some people have said so far. I know some people I saw... One that people want to know was Mission Red Planet. Oh, uh, because it's of the saboteur? There's a, I think there's yeah. a, yeah, it can blow up a one, ship. No, you can also switch someone's guy with yours. That's, that's two out of ten people. I would rather put in, I mean, I'd put Citadels in before I put in Mission Red Planet. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah that feels more like. But that's almost like blind take that. I kill the king. Well, it depends when you draft. You know, if you draft second to last, it's a 50-50 shot. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Especially if it, it might be no, no, a higher. No, no, you still don't know who you're getting, though. Again, it depends where you draft. No, because there's always a card out. But you just saw three. If I pull it and I give you two, you're one of those two. That's 50 50 no, no, at no, no, least. No, 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 because you pick up the. You do not. Oh, the assassin never makes it to that person. What are you talking about? That it never might. happens. It might. It dies. It. If you Wait. need something more, and in fact, it's better to not pick it early because. Anybody who, if you pass the assassin to someone after you, they don't know what went before. All right. They here, probably can't target backwards. Here we go. Okay. Lots of questions. Man, call for duty right now. Lifeboats. Call for duty. Which right one? Now. Well, both, I guess. Lifeboat and lifeboats. But the, I feel like those are more social deduction and just arguing and voting rather than take that. 
I, the game is a little mm -hmm. too flat for me. It definitely feels like take that if you get voted out of the boat. Sure, right. Uh, it just depends little, on where you're sitting. But I just don't flat. like the game that much. It's a little too mean. I'd rather go with uh, Mall of Horror or uh, City of Horror or whatever than that. Survive, I had on my short list. Hmm. As you send the whales and knock people's boats over, the yeah, sharks. Yeah, there's beat a good them. amount to take that in it. Yeah. Uh, Grim Forest. Gosh, there's I definitely don't take that. There you can put the that? wolves on other people and stuff. I just thought that was my, a minor point to the game. Uno. We we said top ten. <laughs> so phase ten. <laughs> uh, Black Fleet from Asmodee is not a bad one, actually. I didn't even consider that one. Black Fleet. I don't know if you've ever played this one. I have not played it. You have your own boat and a pirate boat, or, or you control a pirate boat? You, there's two. No, you are pirates. And then there are two privateer ships that you all control. So I'm your pirate, and you also have a merchant ship. So my pirate ship's attacking your merchant ship. Also, I'm taking a privateer and attacking your pirate ship. Right. So you're never, like, completely safe. There's always stuff Somebody's flying around. Somebody's always near you. Yeah, yeah. I haven't played it, though. Uh, let's see. Arcadia Quest. That definitely is, good. but it's kind of like you're Isn't expecting it to happen. Again? Yeah, I guess. Uh, Dominion. There are take that cards in Dominion, but they're usually my least favorite ones. I mean, one in the of the game. very design philosophies of Donald Vecarino was he didn't want to take that. You can't target somebody. You hit, you hit everybody or no one. That like I've read articles about how he talked about that, so not really. Innovation, I guess. Innovations take that. Yeah. But again, that's actually you're targeting everybody. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Robo Rally. <laughs> Again, that's not take that. That's just it's, it's accidental take that. Yeah, not if is. I try to push you. <laughs> and if you are, you're not playing the game right. Well, I'm playing to have fun. No, that's and not fun. If I fun. see you blow your. If top. that's fun to you, you're a bad person. What about <laughs> someone says someone said Azul? Um, sure, a little bit sometimes, especially with two players. You can take players. what somebody else wants. Yeah, but usually... A little bit with two players. Yeah. That's usually not you're not enough doing to put it, it on to the hurt list. the other person. You're usually helping yourself and by its nature hurting the other person. Well, if, you, if it comes down to, like, help myself or help myself slightly less but hurt you, I'll do that. <laughs> I scored a lot of negative points in the I last see game I played. Game. Yeah, especially, again, with two people when it comes down to, like, the final few tiles, man. How can I help pummeled. myself a little bit? And keep you from getting all those points. Yeah. Uh, Mealborns, we don't. I don't like that game at all. I already put it Munchkin, on the list. Munchkin. I don't know if any of here one likes Munchkin. <laughs> um, there are better choices for me, I would say. Like, yeah, some people are throwing out games like Root and Through the Ages. Those are just straight up, essentially war games. That's right. a, the very nature of them is to attack each other. Right. I mean, yeah. It, for me, to something to make the list. Take that. It has to have some take that, obviously, but. I don't want it to become then a game that is so much about that that I feel there's no game there. Right. Intrigue is a take that game. Intrigue's a nasty take that game. I forgot yeah. about that one. I, I don't oh. like it. It's too take that. That's where I'm, <laughs> Sam's like, will you hire my guy? I'd be like, no problem. Also, he's fired. Yeah, yeah. I hate that game. <laughs> no, no, that game is... It's that so game is mean. Too mean. Intrigue is like extremely mean. Yep. Intrigue and lifeboats are like... And it's Those are like the classic super jerk games. <laughs> they true. Really Those are. two are like the two you think of. Get bit? Get bit's not take that because you're essentially... It's blind bit. You're just playing and then the, the shark is the one biting people. Yeah, it, you can't, you, if you yeah, are, you yeah, can't yeah. stick it to someone. You're blind bitting. So what about like things like Downforce and Ave Caesar? Where you can cut people well, off. Well, Ave Caesar, you can be like, hey, guess you're not moving this turn. Yeah... That, again, though, that's... But you I can do that with know. any race game, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, that's a racing tactic. It's not It's not really take that. Yeah, because it helps. It, I mean, if you... Me. Cutting somebody off in a race uh, helps you beat It's about them. racing, right. Yeah, it's... it's that's... I don't... Nah, I don't, I don't as far really as I know, like rubbing that. is racing. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, watch more movies, cat. Days of Thunder, man. Days of Thunder, man. I've never seen Days of Thunder. Oh, my God. I've never seen Days of Thunder, really. Have you seen Top Gun? Yes. Why is everybody always like, oh, my God, Top Gun? Oh. I didn't say that. I just Days said I of saw Thunder it. is the superior, slower, on tires Top Gun. You can quote me on that. It's not a very pithy <laughs> quote. It's not, not a, very quotable. It's on the back of the VCR. 
<laughs> this is like they just printed half of it like forgot. Oh, all right. And what about the mandatory quests from Lords, Lords of Waterdeep? Water Deep. Nah. Oh, I don't like that game. So. Well, I, it's not that I don't like the game. It's just that, I don't know. I mean, you're still, yeah, they're mandatory quests, but you're still, they're still worth points, right? You're just forcing someone to yeah, focus you're forcing, on something else. Yeah, on, instead of doing something else. I mean, I get it, but you're still giving them points. So right, 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 right. Oh, Bloodborne is a good one. I didn't think of that. You don't like Bloodborne, the card game. Yeah. That was some pretty take that stuff. Yeah. Remember. Bloodborne is very similar, actually, to Cutthroat Caverns. Right. Yeah, it is, As in, we're trying to kill the main bad guy. That's exactly what it feels like, yeah. All right. Well, that's that. We got to end because we got stuff to do. We'll be back tomorrow. I believe we have two things. We have one at one, which is our back talk. And then at three, we have our... Dive. Dive. Dice Tower Dive. We'll be talking about roll and move games, our second favorite genre after Take That. Take, I don't think that Take That's necessarily dive. a bad mechanism. It's just in a lot of games, it's it's a lazy mechanism. It's like, make someone lose a turn. That's, that's Okay, I'll yeah. play it on him, and it doesn't, it doesn't progress any... I don't, there's nothing interesting about it for me. I Correct. hurt him because I got a card that said hurt him. Correct. We tried to pick ones that give more interesting choices. That's what I was doing for my list. I was, I was trying to take a more positive spin, you know, games that I really enjoy that employ that mechanism. Take that. Right. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> That's a whole different genre. That's a whole <laughs> Anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Thank you. Sam Healy. See you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care.